Today we are going to take a look at my second knife made by R8. Uh, this is not the official uh, carrying pouch you get with it. You do get a good uh, carrying pouch with your R8 knife, but I prefer to have all my folders in the exact same type of pouch. Uh, regardless, let's uh, see. I recently made a video about uh, R8 Coyote, which was my first hand pick for my very first R8. A knife that I like quite a lot. Uh, so if you are interested in this one, there is a, a full review of it that you can take a look at. Um, but in this video we are going to focus on uh, an entirely different design. Um, we are going to take a look at uh, Reate Tribute. Um, which is, as you can see, quite a different design, a front flipper to begin with. So uh, yeah, let's um, let's open it up and take a look. This is what the knife looks like in all its uh, glory. It's a bit, it's kind of on the small side. But as always, let's start with the actual specs, and then we can go over some other details of sorts. So starting off here, I'm gonna say that the blade steel used here is uh, my favorite steel out of all the steels available. It is M390, uh, which is a highly corrosion resistant steel with uh, superb edge retention. And as always, if you manage to completely dull the knife, you will have to put in an effort to get it back to, to shaving sharp. But you can always try to maintain it uh, while using it. But still, it is uh, it's gonna take quite some time uh, dulling this edge to begin with. So, looking at it like this, the total length, overall length of this one is 169 millimeters, with a blade length of 71 millimeters. Uh, the closed total length of this one is uh, I believe it is 100 102 millimeters so not a a super large knife uh, at that and I have a front flipper design uh, meaning you open it up like that you can probably uh, or you should be able to flip it up um, uh, like this as well yeah not that hard to be honest I do like front flippers that you can open up, uh, you know, up on, on the topper, uh, like this. That is a, a plus in my in my book. Um, not that it's you know that difficult to <laughs> to open it up uh, like that as well. I mean, it does work quite well, but I I still kind of prefer opening it up like that. Might just be me. So, uh, blade thickness. Let's take a look at the blade thickness here. Yeah, we can see that there is there is this uh, swedge that's taking up most of the blade here. So the actual blade thickness can only be seen on this very part here. Um, but the blade thickness is uh, 3.4 3.4 millimeters. So it is yeah, it's not super thin, but it could have been, you know, even thicker. Some folders, or quite a lot of them that I own, are around 4 millimeters in thickness. So 3.4 is somewhere in between. Uh, but given the sweat here, it does look uh, look to be on the thinner side. But it does take a while for it to fully reach uh, uh, the, the true or the full thickness uh, of sorts. Uh, the weight of this knife, this is, well it is a small knife to begin with and, uh, and the, the weight is, uh, is 90 grams. So it is, it is semi, semi light. Still a bit on the compact side, I have to say that. Uh, the handle material is, um, uh, it is uh, part titanium, with a backspacer and such. Uh, we do have some nice carbon fiber ones, and I'm not. It is carbon fiber is one of those handle materials that look great in person, but I can be sort of tricky to capture uh, on camera. It's sometimes easier to get a good photo of it. So, but carbon fiber 
with uh, Sir, Ma Sir oh, what is the name of this uh, this bolster here? I think that the bolster is called Zirconium. Zirconium bolster. Uh, I'm not super familiar with that, but you know it has a, a good uh, classic looking feel to it. Uh, this knife is offered in a variety, or not a, a wide variety, but in a few different uh, uh, materials. I know that I got this from Lamnia and they had some models that were exclusive for them. Some uh, carbon fiber handles with some red um, red patterns or red color in it, like black, black and red carbon fiber, and one of them with a Tamascus bolster instead. And Tamascus is always nice. So uh, if you're into to uh, colored carbon fiber or Tamascus bolsters, that might be worth checking out. But I, I went with this more. Uh, uh, you know, I don't really want to say simple, but a bit more, you know, simple look in a sense, or simple elegance, perhaps. Uh, there are also different blade finishes, uh, satin finished. I went with a frosted, uh, frosted blade finish or frosted satin. Could that be the name? I'm not quite sure uh, right now, but just a, you know, FYI, there are different uh, blade finishes uh, to go with. So looking at the locking mechanism here, we can see that this is indeed a um, liner lock. And uh, there is no, no blade play at all. And the closing drop action is, uh, it is not, you know, like a full shot, but it is not, uh, not bad either. I mean, it is, uh, and it is brand new as well, so might take some time to um, to break it in, but it is, as you can see, if I give it a bit of a, a push, it will close in, in one or two uh, uh, small small pushes. So I would say that uh, um, uh, that it is um, yeah, it is it is uh, quite nice uh, the fall action or drop action. Uh, looking at the centering of the blade here, let's see. To me, the centering looks to be uh, 100%. Seems to be the case for most of my folders, uh, which is always nice <coughs> to have a, a fully, uh, fully centered blade. And then we take a look at the lockup. Let's see. Oh, and there's no lock stick or anything, by the way. Uh, this one is uh, super easy to. Uh, to open and close like that. But let's take a look at the lock up here and we can see it's about I'd say 20-ish um, percent I guess. Something like that. So what do you use a folder like this for? Well it's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, I, I get a feeling that it's sort of a you know gentleman a pocket knife or uh, gentleman carry, um, not something I would put to hard, you know, hard use or anything. Not that it wouldn't take it, because it is, like I said, it is a, a it may be, you know, on the semi small side, but it is tough, sturdy, and compact. So I mean, I guess you could do uh, some some serious work uh, with it, but the design feels like, yeah, more more of a, you know. Yeah, gentleman pocket carry knife, something like that. Um, the fit and finish, you can, as with my other V8 from, um, um, no, not from, as with my Coyote, there is no, you can't really feel the transition here between the zirconium bolster and the carbon fiber. It is super, super smooth. Uh, and the, the overall fit and finish is really, really nice. For those of you who like to equip your knives with a, a lanyard, there is, as you can see here, a small lanyard hole. Uh, not much to say about that, uh, really. But there is, you have the possibility to attach a small lanyard to this folder. Um, I really am not a, a lanyard person like that, but yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just missing something here. Uh, anyway, so. Um, uh, pocket clip, um, 
not really sure what to say about it. Uh, quite a simple design, but no sharp edges on it or anything, no protruding areas. I think it's gonna prove to be uh, quite useful. Let's see, like, like that. Uh, not a really deep uh, carry, but it should, you know, attach firmly uh, to your pocket. So there should be no, no real issue. Uh, handle ergos, uh, as always, size 10 in gloves, uh, gloves, that's what I wear. Uh, same in large hands, I believe. Still, this is a full four finger grip. Uh, there is, uh, the knife does, you know, get sort of semi swallowed here by my hand, but there are no, uh, no sharp areas or edges or corners or anything here. So I doubt, you know, I doubt it will be an issue. It feels nice and comfortable in hand. Uh, same with the pocket clip here, it's not in any way, you know, um, making it, you know, making my hand feel uncomfortable in any way. Uh, let's see, jimping. There really isn't, you know, any, I mean, there is not really any functional jimping on this knife, uh, to, to say like that. I mean, there is something that looks like like jimping here, but it is really not, it doesn't really, you know, make any difference at all. Maybe it looks nice in some sense, but it doesn't make any, any difference. Uh, there is no real friction or anything. Uh, so I'd say that this jimping is, yeah, it's, it's just for, for looks and aesthetics. So, um, have I forgotten to mention or say anything right now? I don't think so. Um, I hope you feel like you have gotten a, a, you know, a good look at this design, uh, the blade finish, handle materials, grinds, grind lines, uh, locking mechanisms, etc. Pocket clips. So. Uh, I think the last thing we can do now is to do some um, some test of the sharpness. And as always, I have my magazine here. We are running out of pages. I have a few more magazines um, somewhere. Uh, but let's, uh, let's do a quick uh, sharpness test here now. It does seem to be uh, a very sharp knife. Let's do one more page. Because, well, because we don't need a reason. So I think that concludes um, the sharpness test, it is a, um, a sharp knife. Small, compact, light, sharp, stylish, front flipper. The Reate Tribute. My second Reate knife, uh, most likely not my last knife. My second front flipper of all time. I can get used to that, absolutely. Thank you for uh, watching. Have a good day. Over and out.